Hello and welcome back to the Out of Spec Podcast. Real version 4 superchargers are on their way and we just got our first look at the version 4 cabinet specification. So let's just jump right into it. Now, currently we have what are the version four posts, which have version three cabinet hardware. We dub these version 3.5 superchargers, version four posts, version three cabinets. These only allow up to 500 volts and about 415 amps for charging. But with the version four cabinets, we'll be seeing 615 amps and 1000 volt charging. This means higher voltage cars like our EGMP vehicles, our Porsche Taycan, our Lucid Air vehicles with 800 volts or more, even the Lucid Gravity with 926 volts, will be able to charge peak power at the version four real version four Tesla superchargers. Now for Tesla vehicles, other than the Cybertruck, you're really not going to see a change in your charging performance. So if you have a Model 3 SX, or why you have a 400 volt battery pack and architecture, meaning that you are not going to be seeing really a crazy change in speeds. You're gonna be seeing the same speeds that you see at version three sites. But for the Cybertruck, which has a 800 volt architecture and battery pack, which can be split into two 400 volt packs, you're now gonna be able to pull peak power at these version four sites. Now the version four supercharger cabinet will allow for maximum rated power of 500 kilowatts. That's twice what we see at version three cabinets and version 3.5 sites, double the power output. This means faster charging right for those higher voltage EVs. Now these V4 cabinets can take in anywhere from 1200 to 1500 amps versus the version three cabinets which could take up to 640 amps. So quite a bit of a power increase. Now, Tesla says with this exact same cabinet, they will be able to charge the Tesla Semi at 1.2 megawatts. And that's what the huge amperage increase we saw, right? This version four cabinet can get anywhere from 1200 up to 1500 amps peak. And with 1000 volts, that will give you 1.2 megawatts peak of charging for the Tesla Semi. Now I wanna remind people, right, 615 amps is the limit at the post itself, but the cabinet can handle 1200 to 1500 amps. And so with a different dispenser, right, with the dispenser used for the Tesla Semi, that's when you'll be able to unlock that full 1200 to 1500 peak amperage. Now, unlike the version three cabinet, which can charge four vehicles at one time, the version four cabinet can charge up to eight vehicles simultaneously. Now, of course, Tesla uses bus bars connecting their cabinets so they can distribute power amongst different posts and stalls. So it's not giving right 250 kilowatts divided among four different posts. You'd be getting a little bit more power than that. But this allows Tesla to expand their supercharging sites a lot easier because they don't need as many cabinets for as many stations. Back in November, Tesla said V4 cabinets would be going into the permitting phase with the first openings in 2025. Well, it's 2025 now, meaning very soon we could be seeing these version four cabinets out there with full version four dispensers, meaning we'll be seeing full version four Tesla superchargers. Now, as I've mentioned, these V4 cabinets will allow an output of up to 500 kilowatts, and that's really going to future-proof these superchargers. Now, right now, current V3 superchargers, as I've mentioned, right, peak 500 volts, about 415 amps nominally. Now we have EVs like the Lucid Air Gravity, the EGMP cars, the Porsche Taycan, like the Cybertruck with 800 volts, upwards of 900 volts. And it's just not cutting it anymore. And so soon we're going to have a lot more vehicles with higher voltage architecture. And so you're going to need the correct infrastructure to support it. And we now have other companies like Alpitronic, which are introducing their 1000 volt systems, allowing up to 400 kilowatts for some stations. And they also have the HYC uh, 1000, which allows for one megawatt of distribution of power. 
And so as we see more electric vehicles come with higher voltage architecture, we're going to need the proper infrastructure to support it. Now, it's likely we're going to see all of the current version 3.5 stations, right? The stations that are using V4 posts with version 3 cabinets be replaced with version 4 cabinets as well. According to Tesla, about 14% of all of their superchargers are V4 posts. So all they have to do is attach those V4 cabinets to those V4 posts. Tesla has their own article about the V4 cabinet. We'll kind of go through it. Supercharging has come a long way. Our first opening in 2012 started with charging speeds of just 90 kilowatts. Since then, our engineering teams have continuously been upgrading our supercharging equipment. In 2023, we launched our V4 post, which made improvements to the charging experience for all EVs. Today, we're announcing the V4 cabinet capable of delivering up to 500 kilowatts for cars and 1.2 megawatts for semis. Faster charging supports 400 to 1,000 volt vehicle architectures, including 30% faster charging for a Cybertruck. Sexy vehicles enjoy 250 kilowatt charge rates they already experienced on the V3 cabinet, charging up to 200 miles in 15 minutes. V4 cabinet powers eight posts, two times the number of stalls per cabinet. Lower footprint and complexity equals more sites coming online faster. Cutting edge power electronics designed to be the most reliable on the planet with three times power density, enabling higher throughput with lower costs. Our first sites with V4 cabinets are going into permitting now, first openings in 2025. And this was posted in November. So very soon we could be right seeing these out there in the wild. Now going directly to the actual right, specifications of this V4 charging cabinet, so you'll see supports NACS, CCS1, CCS2, and GB. GB is what the Chinese and some Asian Pacific markets use for their charging port. And so you'll see the V4 supercharging cabinet will go to pretty much all of the markets that Tesla is looking to sell in. Global voltage input range, higher power density, compact footprint, high efficiency, low noise cooling system, compliant with global EVSE standards, high power factor and low harmonics, which means the buzzing and the frequency of noise isn't going to right, be loud, uh, surface mount wiring options. Now we know the V4 cabinet is taller than the V3 cabinet, but looking to the specifications is 75.8 inches tall, 62.7 inches wide at the front, and then 45 inches deep, so across. Now going to the technical specifications, we see efficiency at above 96%, and see so we get the exact dimensions here. Weight, 2,240 pounds, so it's a pretty big cabinet. And then moving on to more technical specifications, you can see voltage rating 1000 volts, um, post rated voltage range. So vehicles as low as 180 volts up to 1000 volts for DC power, 615 amps, eight posts for each cabinet. This not only affects Tesla vehicles, this affects all EVs because V4 posts are open to non Tesla vehicles. Now, not all V4 posts are some are still locked to tesla vehicles but in the future it's expected that all v4 posts will be unlocked for all evs and because the v4 posts are centrally located in the parking space with longer cables that just makes them a lot better than the v3 posts which were not centrally located and they also had shorter cables which really only match the configuration of the tesla charging port but all in all we could be seeing these v4 superchargers very soon of course as soon as we see them here in the united states expect a video from the out of spec channels talking all about it and seeing what the charging differences are like compared to v3 and the other high voltage charging systems out there well thank you guys so much for watching my name is isaiah this is the out of spec podcast and i will see you guys in the next one